I'm gonna be honest with you, I put a lot of thought and effort into the new Little Minnow kit that you can purchase right now on crappymanjigs.com. So I just wanted to make a quick video going over every new color because there's a ton of them in these boxes. Some, there's two limited colors that you can only get in these boxes. But there's also some new colors on the website. So y'all stay tuned. We're gonna go over what applications and what water conditions that I will throw these jigs in. So first and foremost, here's the completed box. Now, on paper, this box will do every condition that you will ever face while crappy fishing. Let's be honest. We've got clear water, we've got dirty water, we've got stained water, we've got just any water. You know, there, there's some baits that work good in clear and dirty water. So I wanted to make just a versatile box of just some of the best colors that I myself can produce. And I, I mean, I stand by the little minnow. If you are crappy fishing, throw a little minnow. Now, some of my other profiles of baits do work better in certain conditions. But throughout the four years that I've been in business, the little minnow has produced more fish than any other bait that I have ever used in my entire life. And I've been crappy fishing over 25 years. So we're gonna start off with the OG color. When we first started, this is one of our top sellers. It used to be one of the most annoying colors to make because I didn't have a dual injector. And that would be bluegrass, which is a blue ice top green bottom jig. Now where this color to me excels is in that first eight feet of water. So if you're fishing a shallow water reservoir that's kind of clear, this color is amazing at matching the hatch of just really small bait fish and everything. Or if you love shooting docks and they're up in that water column, because once you get a past about 10 to 12 feet, the blue on top is going to go away and all you're going to be left with is a black and chartreuse silhouette in that water column anyway. Most of your colors, you know, it really depends on your water clarity of how effective a color is going to be to begin with. Now, next on the list, we're just going to go through the old, the, uh, the OGs. You got to have monkey milk in a box. I mean, monkey milk, if you're not getting bit on a chartreuse, crappy man green, you're going to get bit on a monkey milk. Hand in hand, that's, that's how it works. You know, crappy man green has probably caught over 100,000 crappies since we've been in business. And I'm not making that up. <coughs> the next color is a box exclusive. The bluegrass is also a box exclusive. I do not sell these on the website. So the only way you can get the OG bluegrass is by ordering a box, which a lot of, you know, I've sold a pretty good many of them. And they should be arriving at your house. I'm sure a lot of you already have this box. But another box exclusive is a color called mint mint is a green and blue hybrid and what i mean by that is it's it looks green but when it hits that sunlight it's a see-through blue this is going to be your clear water brush pile uh clear water uh, bridge pylons uh dock shooting in clear water also On the list we've got a green pumpkin orange green pumpkin is really good just an all-around color it's kind of like monkey milk you know if your brighter colors like chartreuse pink and you know like a brighter blue isn't working just a real natural green pumpkin color can get you a few more bites and i decided to add orange because really i've never had a green pumpkin orange so that that's why that one's in the box now the next color I'm really, really excited for, I cannot wait to get out on the water and just prove that this is gonna be a fish catcher. And that is a color called gravy. You know, it's not really a new color to people around the crappy world. A lot of places have a salt and pepper and all that, but I wanted to take it just a, the little bit of extra mile and make a milky white with black flake in it. It sounds simple, but this is an absolute fish catcher, muddy, clear, it don't matter. Now the next one, a couple years ago I made a video. What color stands out the most in muddy water? And to believe it or not, a baby blue color, I think came in second place. 
<clears throat> so this color is called Sky. It is, it is a very, very light baby blue. This is 100% mint for muddy water, but I can guarantee you'll catch them in any kind of conditions. Next on the list is pink. Just our Pink Diva. Uh, a bright, really bright pink. A little bit see-through. Awesome, awesome for the springtime, which is coming up. So that's why I included the pink. You know, just so you have it when those fish start getting on the beds. At least is a color called Firecracker. And as you can see by looking at the color, this is a clear bait with red, gold, and uh, purple and pink uh, glitter in it. And this is just really to, you know, if you have a really, really sunny day and you're fishing an open water brush pile, this is what I would tie on to throw. Because that, that, that glitter and the clear is going to really reflect in that first, you know, wh whatever your water clarity is, you know, whatever, that first little layer of clear water, this is going to reflect and be able to draw out those fish out of that brush pile and get you a few more bites. Now what I've done is I've paired all this up to sink the knot, so to say. You've got eight 124 ounce jig heads. This is the, the middle of the pack between a 132 and a 116. So if you're shooting docks, you're able to just to get it back a little bit further. If you're fishing a, a bridge pylons, it gets down just a little bit faster, but not too fast to get out of that strike zone. And if you're using live scope or whatever, this is a great jig head to have below your bigger weight to get that into the fish's mouth. This is paired up with a size four hook. I would not go any bigger than a size four with a little minnow. Um, normally I use a size six on the 32 and the 64, but when you get up to the 24, I do like a size four hook because I did bend out on a two and a half to three pounder last year with a size six hook. So if I'm, if I'm fishing really, really thick stuff, the size four hook, and it's also good for beginners, but if you do get hung, with any of my jig heads, if you put a little bit of tension on it, normally you can get your hook back. But that's the kit. These retail for 30 bucks. And if you've been on this video this long, you can use code Turner Fishing. And that'll save you 10% on checkout. There'll be a little coupon thing when you go to checkout. Apply the code Turner Fishing, save you 10% on your entire order, even if you order anything else. The boxes go out really fast. But if you order anything with them, I will say, give me a week. That's just how the cookie crumbles. I've got these boxes already made up, so I'm able to just pack them and ship them out. But if you order other stuff, you're going to have to be in the queue. Because I try to do, you know, whoever orders first gets their order. So, uh, go purchase you one. Help feed my family. Help pay my, keep my lights on. Help keep this business running. But I really hope you guys enjoy this kit. I do want to make a swim bait kit. That's my next goal. But I need to order more molds because I cannot possibly make 20 to 30 kits making 10 at a time. So if you'd like to buy a mold or two to help the cause, shoot me an email. And you know we can compensate with jigs for that. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Just a little quick video explaining the kit and I'll catch you on the next one.